Hi, this is Elena Maria Fouché with Mindfulness Made Easy. So in this second video, I want to talk about what happens as we're learning to be more present and what do we do with that? So in the first video, I talked about what presence is. So if you're not sure what I'm talking about, take a moment and hop over to that video so you get a better sense of what I'm talking about. So as we become more and more present, what starts to happen, of course, is that we start to notice our thoughts and feelings. And what do we do with them? Normally what we would do is a thought or feeling comes up and we go into story about it. We go into past and future. And that's fine, of course. And yet now what we're wanting to do is stay present. So to not go off. And what's the big tool for doing that? The big tool for doing that is as we're developing that capacity, as we're able to be more present, when a thought or a feeling arises, what we do is we, as much as possible, we go into non-judgment. So, let's say anger arises. And suddenly I'm angry. And if I can, I stay here and present with it. And what I do is, instead of going into the story about the anger, why I'm angry, how I want to fix it in the future. Instead, I just feel it. It's that simple. Okay, I'm angry. Hi, angry. I see you. And it's okay. And this is what we mean by being non-judgmental. We don't disapprove of what's happening. We don't try and fix it. We don't try and make it better. This would be story, right? We're going into past and future. As much as we can, we don't do that. As much as we can, we just acknowledge how we feel. We accept it as much as we can and we just feel it. This is a big practice. I hope that helps and I'll see you next.